All right, guys, welcome to episode 148 of Dope Talk TV. Is your truly low key got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down to the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, just fucking, uh, we appreciate y'all coming back for the vibes, for the laughs, for the memories. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome, welcome back, back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome Beautiful back. Tuesday. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? Feeling great. Feeling great, man. It's kind of been hot, bro, lately. You know, I'm wearing a little bit yeah, of it's, it's weird. Like yeah, this time last year, it was like freezing. Or am I tripping? Like at least during the it night. It was time. colder. It was way colder. Because there was I don't a video. Know. Remember that video I shared four years ago of us of that day, which was yesterday? It, we were that freezing. Shit was cold. We I had like fucking two jackets on, a I, hoodie and a hat. I had a scarf. I was like, holy shit. I was like, what? I don't know. Maybe global warming is real. Who knows, guys? Uh, it might be. It might be. I'll go down in the comments. You flat earthers, let us know if global warming's real. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, brother. But yeah, I don't know. I got I I'll tell you writing. something, that's just, man. that's just blocking. I can't yeah, see look, it. This My bad, guy, guys. This guy never prepared. Yeah. You know I'm John's over prepared. I'll tell you something. Hey, man, I try. I try my best. Sometimes I, I fuck up, though. Hey, we're human, bro. We're all pieces of shit sometimes. Let me get that, I'm though. a piece of shit, too. But yeah, man, going straight into our first topic, something that we were talking about off the air right before we, we started recording is uh, just people snitching, man. People... People snitching. And ultimately, I feel like it comes down to people not, not taking accountability for their own actions, bro. Like, if you do something, bro, just take accountability for it. Nine times out of ten, you know what you're doing, you know what the consequences are, and you know that you could get fucked. And then when you get fucked, you want to sit here and fuck someone else. Yeah, I mean, that's that's one like one of the things my mom taught me, too, is like, you don't tell nobody else. You don't snitch. You know what I'm saying? You don't snitch on your brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do none of that shit. Fact. You know what I mean? If, if Kevin did something... That stays in the family. Yeah, just don't don't be running your freaking mouth. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, facts. But facts. yeah, snitching is, is no bueno, bro. I don't I don't I don't approve of it, bro. I don't respect it. Yeah, it's not respectable, bro. It's like, especially when it's a situation where you're just getting someone else in trouble to get yourself out of trouble. Like that's the that's the most cowardly shit you could do. Especially you know if you know Take the consequences. Yeah, like yeah. you knew what. Especially if you knew what you were doing, like. You knew what you were doing. You knew that you could get caught and you knew you could go to jail for a long time. And then when it happens, you want to sit here and put other people in that situation that didn't get caught. They weren't sloppy like you. They they weren't as irresponsible as you or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And you want to take them down with you. And it's fucked up. Like, yeah, those I, type of people, bro, I can't respect you. Yeah, I, I don't like can't. it. I don't like it. I don't like you guys, man. You guys are freaking weird. I don't man. like none of you. Yeah, bro. You'll get beat up for that type of shit. Like. I promise snitches you. don't get stitches no more, bro. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, like, nowadays it's like do not get stitches. Nowadays it's like glamorized. It's like just, it's like it's yo, different. it's okay now. He's like, oh well, you know, homie did that to you. You know what I mean? Well, no, bro, no, that has nothing to do with the situation that's going on right now. Yeah, that's exactly. totally irrelevant to like you know he fucked your girl or he did you know he fucking stole a couple fucking hundred bucks for I don't fucking know anything. But that's irrelevant to the situation. When you guys are, you got you guys both agreed on the situation of what yeah. you guys were about to do, Facts. what Facts. could happen, and what's gonna happen if we do get caught. Yeah, bro. Those are the main three things yeah. that you're gonna do. You know, if you're and doing something the, illegal, that's you know the I mean? difference. It's, if you're not in the street life, is different. If you're not in the street life, then you're not in the street life. Like if yeah. if you didn't have nothing to do with the situation, like for example, if it's some if if, if you're a guy that's a worker, you know what I'm saying? You're a hard worker, you go to work, you you do your job, you come home, you feed your family that way, right? One of your homeboys is like, yo, let me borrow the car. I got to go to the store and my shit broke down. You let him borrow the car. He brings it back to you, whatever. The next day, there's cops at your house saying that the car was involved in the shooting. If that nigga says, nah, bro, like, go get him. He's not snitching because he's not in that life. And you let he let you borrow the car saying you telling him, yo, I got to go to the store with it. Like as a friend, it's like, all right, cool. He got to go to the store. He'll bring it back in an hour or whatever. Yeah. His shit broke down right now. As a friend, you might do that for a real cl close friend. But if you go and commit a fucking shootout or a, a shoot, you know, drive by with it, and then you bring it back and don't tell your boy. And he's like, nah, I didn't do that. Like I let him borrow the car. And you're like, oh, you a snitch ass nigga. Nah, bro. You put that man in a situation where you, he shouldn't have been in in the first place. Yep. 
You know what I'm saying? Because he's not in that life. Now, if y'all were both in the car and y'all both committed the fucking shoot, you know, drive by, and then he gets caught and then he tells on you, that's snitching. Yeah, that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's but if he's if situation. he's not involved, he he's not in that life, bro. He's not. That's not a snitch, man. And it's just, just no the lines are snitch, blurred. Man. And yeah, it's true. Nobody likes a snitch. I don't care what you say. Even there's plenty of CEOs and police officers that don't like snitches either. Believe it or not. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah, people that enforce the law, they don't even like it. So, so, <laughs> Facts, so like, that says a I lot. Know, you a snitch ass nigga. It's you like guess. a cop. Like the, there's probably a cop that you're probably snitching to, and the cops like, man, look at this guy. This guy's a so freaking. They, all they, bro, they get them with some Burger King fries, bro. That's yeah, all yeah, them. but yeah. still in their head, they're like, man, this guy's a freaking punk, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Oh no, of course. That's why they treat you like a bitch. Yeah. You just get some chicken tenders. Tell us everything. Yeah, yeah. You want you want some sprite? <laughs> I bet you haven't had Sprite in years. No, they have Sprite. a lot. They have a lot, bro. They have everything in there. No, 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 they have it all. You could freaking charge your phone with a potato. Hey, listen, bro. If you know how to figure it out, though, you can do a lot of them, bro. Phone. I'm telling you, bro. Like I've seen some stuff in the jailhouse food. There's this guy that's famous on TikTok for doing it. He just mixes up jailhouse food, and he's like in a halfway yeah. house. He's not yeah. even in prison. He's just in a halfway house, and he's just like, bro. But there, honestly, bro, I've heard that some of those like little like makeshift meals in there are actually really it looks fucking fu- good. It looks it's just good. like it, it looks, looks amazing. It looks amazing, but like but I don't you know, know if it's healthy. You know what's not amazing? It's tornadoes at night. <laughs> I saw a video, man, <laughs> not, like yesterday, last night, actually. And I was watching That's this some girl. Scary shit. She said she's like recording. She looks out the window and then all you see is a black tornado, like from like maybe like 100 yards away, like headed towards the houses. And it's a nice neighborhood. And That's I'm like, fuck. she's like, oh, my God, run. Grab the kids. And yeah, no, you, you, and then it just maybe, cuts off. Yeah, I mean, that's fucked. I mean, you're that's crazy. Listen, think of a tornado during the day. That's scary. And then think of it at night and see how. That's much like you, I don't want to move to Kansas and shit. That's where like that really happens at. That's Big like tornadoes for no reason. I mean, there's a reason. That's not even. Like, that's like a really like black like day and night difference though. Like a tornado during the day. Either one, way, it's super fucked. But at night, it's so much, <laughs> it's so, so much it's, more it's, scary, it's, bro. It's like, so much because you don't know where it's coming from, where it's at. All you hear is a gust of wind. No, that shit sounds like a train. It's not a gust. Like people that have been around tornadoes, be like, bro, that shit sounds like the devil himself coming. Like it's not, no dead ass. It sounds like a train, like hauling ass, like with its horn blowing. Like it's not like. Why would anybody yeah, want to live there though? Like what? I mean, take those- it's nice. I guess that's where you grew up. It is nice until one of them bitches come. Yeah, it's like nice. it looks beautiful. You're looking at the pasture. You ever seen and the then movie then Tornado? All of a sudden, bro, you ever been on the ride? Crazy. That movie's crazy. Yeah, I have. in Universal. Yeah, you remember yeah. that? Oh my gosh, that was a crazy. Nah, fuck out of here with a tornado, bro. I'm out. Nah, <laughs> I mean hurricanes. No, as soon as that happens, I'm moving. One thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, but well, they're, to them that shit's probably scarier. To us, we're like, bro, it's a hurricane, bro. Just get some beer, get a couple candles, you'll be all right. Nah. If the shit goes out, you have a generator. I don't know. I feel like we deserve a big ass storm to hit and just hit us all. You're a piece of shit. Just, I don't think so. I but, think so. I think well, I think it's know, I think we need to humble ourselves, guys, and start being more appreciative. I think like, we need a big storm to come and wipe out half the fucking population. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That's fucked. They already, um, they already did they're that. They're already working on that, but we're not that. gonna say the name. Yeah, they already <laughs> did it. They already did it. Nah, straight up. Get us. Catch our grit. But I'll tell yeah. you something, man. Catch our grit. Growing drift, up, bro, there was always different types of kids in the neighborhood, bro. You had the kid that was passive aggressive. You know what I'm saying? You had the kid that didn't talk to nobody much. You had the kid that liked, to, you know, play sports. And then you had the tough guy. All right? And I'll, not, I'll tell you something, bro. Those tough guys, those fucking tough guys are funny to deal with, man. There's always a tough guy. There's yeah. always a tougher guy than you. You re- you no, got bro. you got to realize that like humble yourself, man. No, There's a bro. guy that's willing to risk like risk it all. He's Just willing like, to lose his life and take yours all at the same time. Right all, now, right now, right now. Like, and so I'm not. If, if you're not willing to do that, just be like, "Yo, big dog, you got it." That's what you gotta say, "Yo, big dog, you got it. You got it. You got, you got, it, you got, got it, it, bro. It. <laughs> nah, dead ass, you got it, bro. And yeah. it, yo, listen, bro. There's always someone tougher than you, man. There's a lot of guys that are in prisons." Or in jail or, or in fucking graveyards, bro, trying to be tough guys. Yeah, man. And, and when they're really not, though. And then you go to prison and you really learn you're not a tough guy. You're like, wow. Nah, like, man, these guys shit. are tough. I thought I was a tough guy, bro. <laughs> this guy has balls of steel, bro. Like, there's nah, like, bro, fact. because there's some people out here that are ruthless. No, no, bro. Ruthless. There's guys out there, bro, that are still like medieval. 
minded. Like, yeah, they're they'll, like, bro, I will chop your head off and drink from your skull type bro, shit. I'll lay you down on this table and stretch your arms out and legs at the same time. Damn. My dog went forward. Yep, you went erotic, they, though. You went, the, you went the erotic route. <laughs> no, but that's My dog's going to do. put a little fucking that's leather they, mask on him, can you, put an apple in his mouth. <laughs> can you talk about how bad of a death that is? That's shit death. They used to do that with horses. They used to get four horses and tie them up to you and then, like, have the horses just run different ways. It'll literally tear you apart like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that. That's horrible. I would scream. Scream. I'll scream. Bitch, you're dead. You know, nah. pieces fucking being dragged four different ways. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't, yeah. yeah, that's rough. No, no that's I fucked. Can, I can visualize that right now. Yo, medieval Am times. I bad? Yeah, it's bad. Medieval times, bro. <laughs> it was a different time, man. Like, you got to think about it. Like, like, the punishments were so much worse. Like, if you get... Like, imagine being stoned to death by your village. <laughs> yeah, bro. All the people you freaking finesse. All, all the niggas like, that didn't like you already yeah. get a chance to fucking throw a rock at you. That's fine. I'm throwing it right <laughs> to your fucking head and I'm killing you with that rock. One shot. One shot, bro. Nah, bro. I'm a, yo, bro. Nah, I'm going to take that marble. I'm going to fucking. <laughs> and I'm going to marble your head. It's going to look like I'm on the mound playing for the Yankees when I throw my shit. Yeah, I I'm going to be fucking. You got the Yankee hat on already. I'm going to be fucking reading, bro. And just put my leg up, bro, and just... Bro, I'm going to chuck that bitch straight to your fucking forehead. Bro, I, I've been hit with a baseball. Nah, that shit hurts. In the face, twice. I've gotten two black eyes from baseball. Bro, I'll never forget the first day I went to baseball practice, bro. There was, like, the older kids in the yeah. bigger field. And you remember Cachete, right? Yeah, of course. He was, like, the coach. Yeah. And he had a ball hard as fuck, bro. And that shit bounced up and hit the kid in the fucking face. <laughs> Niggas started leaking. And, like, Cachete was just like... <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, we all hit people in the face before. Yo, I it have. happens. You should have yeah. put your glove up, nigga. That's nah, what we're here for. Nah, bro. Some guy. Now you fuck, know, bro. Shit, I taught a couple <laughs> lessons, bro. There was a, there was a guy. I don't know if you know him. He used to play at West Crow all the time. They call him Kobe because he looked just like Kobe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Co Yo, Kobe was nice. Kobe he was, was a ball. Yeah, he brought. Yeah, I know. But he brought he brought his girl and shit, and his girl was sitting there like under the under the hoop, kinda, <laughs> but like towards the side, towards the sideline, and she's just sitting there reading a book or like on her phone or whatever. Me and him are playing one on one. And fucking, I went to shoot the ball and that shit brick and it landed right Damn. in her fucking face. <laughs> like, hard as hell. Like, bro, like, I'm talking about that shit. What are you shit doing went. in those situations? And I felt so bad. I ran over there. He knew it was an accident. And I was just like, man, I'm so sorry. She got so fucking pissed. She got, she was so pissed. She wanted to fucking punch me Yo, in the face. Yo, bro, my dog bricked it, so hard. I'm, that shit hit her in the fucking mouth. That shit hit her in the chromosome and it, bro, it made her switch nah. real quick. She Yo. fucking, she moved. You remember, you remember like middle school days, like playing fucking dodgeball, like girls getting hit in the face, crying yeah. and shit. Yeah. Bro, I remember that shit. That shit used to be so funny to me, bro. Mm. And then they wouldn't dress out for like three months. <laughs> oh my god, kid shit though. It's like damn, you should have moved. What the fuck? Yeah, I've been hitting the nuts a lot, bro. That's the worst. Man. Yeah, that shit feels so bad. You know, I feel like that's the closest thing. To childbirth that we could experience Getting kicked in the fucking nuts Facts Real talk Like that shit feels so bad So bad Like it's not even on your nuts It's like the feeling in your stomach You get afterward bro it Makes you want to throw up And shit yourself at the same time Oh my gosh Yeah there's been a couple times bro <laughs> Yeah I was actually on the phone And I was throwing the football While I was on the phone <laughs> And I'm talking, and the next thing you know, that shit just, like, he landed right towards my crotch. Right in the fucking crotch. Yeah, and I felt like I lost one of my balls for a second. Like, that's how bad no, it No, 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 that shit, it's like, Almost it catches to throw fire. Up. Yeah, yeah, no, it catches fire. And yeah. then it goes from your nuts to your fucking groin, and then from your groin to your stomach, and then from your stomach, it makes you want to fucking puke. Yeah. And then you just sit in there like, bro, just shoot me in the head. Is it the same feeling when women, like, land on their cooch, or... I don't know. Ladies, I don't know. know. I'm sure it hurts. That's a sensitive area for them. Yeah. But, bro, I don't think it's as bad as guys getting hit in the You nuts. already get fucking banged there anyways. Yeah, that shit gets <laughs> yeah. a thump in anyway. <laughs> yeah, so what the fuck? Fuck we don't, out of here. Yeah, our thump is different, bro. Yeah, that thump is a real thump, though. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, know. how many girls, like, uh, what are you doing to hit yourself in the cooter? I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy, right? Like, y'all ladies can answer that for it. Yeah, I mean, shit. Like, we, what we need, could you possibly be doing? Riding a bull or something? Nah, we need we need, we need, need some women guests. That's what the yeah, fuck it facts. is. If y'all want to come to the show, man. We might do some call-ins pretty soon. Yeah, for real. Y'all want to come to the show if you're in the Orlando area. 
hit us up if you want to just call in and talk shit for a little bit. Hit but us that's, up. But that's going to be on Patreon, obviously. Yeah, no, no. All that's going to be on Patreon. We already got our first Patreon guest. Shout out to my boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? McKinnon. Round of applause to him, bro. He got some wild stories. He's a chill-ass dude. And we're definitely going to have some fun on our first Patreon episode because that nigga's funny, bro. And he yeah. got some stories that we definitely cannot put out on YouTube because they'll take him down. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Straight up. I got a story for you, though. Let me hear. You ever, you ever fucking... Banged your coworker and just went to work the next day like nothing ever happened and act normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had to. Yeah, a couple I went times. In, yeah, I went but it in. gets awkward when it just it's, gets awkward. It, it does sometimes. get sometimes. It's always after the sex That's part. It's, it's, it's always the sex. It it's turns sex. me on when a girl knows how to move after that. When a girl knows how to just like keep playing it cool. Yeah, it's yeah. just like. It's That's like, such a turn on. It's such a turn on. I love it. But then when you think you start acting weird, acting like, I don't know, acting sus, or you just start acting like a hoe, and I start seeing that you start banging other people, I start acting like, come on. Girl. Oh, this fucking guy's one like, of these sensitive I don't, I don't, fucks. I don't, I don't, let's, I don't, I don't nah, like it. Let's have this like conversation. It. Why is it like that? It. Why is it that you, if you're single, let's yeah. say you're both single, yeah, right? Because I'm selfish. You're both single, right? Yeah. So why is it that you're allowed to go fuck whoever the fuck you want, but if she's doing the same, it's a problem? Yeah, because nah. Because I'm the alpha. This is how we do it. This guy, that's not how it works, bro. You either got to lock it down or let it go. Nah, 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 baby. Go fly away because I ain't locking it down. (laughs) Fly away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah. You remember that song? I don't even want to talk right now. I just want to let that marinate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, for the people's ears. You know, but I just I just let them go. I let them go quick. You know what I mean? If if I feel like you got no value. I feel I, like you got as a man, you gotta know what you're looking for too. Yeah, yeah. And then like if you let me, and you let gotta me put be you honest like about it. If you're not trying to be in a relationship, let it be known. If you're trying to cuff somebody, let yeah. it be known. Just like, be honest. How do you feel about this? Do you what if somebody really likes you over the over the person they're already with and they end up leaving that person or just cheating? To get with you, would you ever consider them into being a wife? I couldn't. I personally couldn't. Maybe it's in my immaturity, but or maybe it's just not at this stage in life. I would never be able to trust you. If I gain, if that's how I got you, that's how I lose you. Yeah. Whatever you get is usually how it goes. Exactly. However you get it is usually how it goes. If it comes quick, it goes quick. If it comes slow, it goes slow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like usually, you know, it happens different for people, but. Yeah, bro. I personally wouldn't be able to trust it because it's like I saw how you did la- uh, how you did homeboy, and you at one point you got with him because you were in love with him too. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. So it's like if that's how that happened, like what it's gonna happen to me eventually? Just one. It's a ticking time bomb. You kind of just in my head. Yeah, it's a ticking time bomb. Exactly, and you kind of just lose a little bit of respect for the person too, low key, just a little bit. You know, because it's like ah, like especially if they they do a lot for you. And then you're kind of just like, ah, you know, you kind of lose respect. And then it's just like me personally, I wouldn't I agree with you. I wouldn't be able to do it because man, it's just I like, can't, man, I can't like it's just it's just like I would always have that in the back of my mind. Like, wow, you did that to that person after all those years. You could just do that shit right back to me. You know, Yeah, I've said it. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again, man. Like looks are a plus. Yeah. If she's bad, it's a plus. But loyalty comes before anything, bro. I feel like. You're going to be attracted to other people no matter what. There's no problem with that. No but matter it's how what. You act on it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be attracted to other of, people while being it's married. It's inevitable. Yeah, exactly. You never, like, you, like, people can't act like, yo, I got with this person and now I'm not attracted to nobody else. I only have eyes for them. It's like, no, bro. You should only have loyalty for them. But, bro, humans are humans. And yeah. you know what's crazy, bro? You might come across somebody that you you feel like you have an instant connection with them type shit. Yeah, I but it's a lot how, of people. It's how you act on it, though. Yeah, because if you're in a re- if you're single, cool, act. You know what I'm saying? Like, do your thing. But if you're in a relationship, whether you feel that connection with a person or not, bro, you should have enough respect for your partner to be like, nah. Yeah, nah. That ain't it. Yeah, that ain't it. That ain't. Even it. though I feel you know a connection with you, yeah. like it's like as much as I feel like, man, this is perfect, mm-hmm. but it's just like nah, like you. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting to the age, bro. Like, I can't start dating anybody that's under the age of 25 now. Like, I'm really at that point now. Because, like, I... Good. I noticed Round that. of applause. I've I been kn- telling you that shit for years. Nah, I noticed, man. Like, a lot of 20-year-olds, 21, 22, 23. Like, y'all, like... 
y'all are still figuring it out. And then I look at myself at 22, 23, and I was still figuring it out. I'm still am to this day. Yeah, but it's a different but stage. It's a, but it's a different stage now figuring it out. It's kind of like you're like halfway through the test. And yeah, not, and then and you look back and that person's still on the first row. Yeah. You're like, fuck, man. It's, like, yeah, it's like, man, I already went through that. I already know what that is and yeah. I already passed that. You know what I mean? So, nah, it's crazy though. Because like mostly women are like a lot more mature than, they mature than guys. quicker Yeah But at the same time People are people bro And humans are humans Whether you're a woman Or you're a man At 21 You usually want to be Living your life Yep You usually want to be Living your life There Nowadays Back in the day 20, 30, 40 years ago It used to be different Like girls wanted to be married By 21 And start having a family Now it's different bro Girls at 21 Want to be living their life Till they're like 25, 30 Yep And there's nothing wrong with that It's your life Do what you want to do You know yeah. what I'm saying But it's yeah. like Nah. Yeah, man. Like you gotta, you gotta be. You, I feel like birds of a feather flock together. Usually, that's why it's compatibility. Like, an age range puts you in a certain mindset. Like, it's not just about the age. It's like a, it's a mindset thing. That's why it's cool. Like, it's cool when like guys are like you know fifty years old, sixty years old, and they're dating these eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one year old hot ass girls. But it's like, after you're done banging them, bro, what what could you possibly be fucking talking about Yeah that's the one She's thing She's 19 and you're 60 Yeah What could you po- Your mentalities aren't even Nigga she's a child Yeah That's your granddaughter type shit Yeah there's I some, mean it's uh, Do your thing Cause you know what I'm saying if, that's, just, if you could do it Hey bro Be a playboy Like Hugh Hefner You know what I'm saying But it's like at, at the same time When it comes to like A real relationship It's like bro You gotta have somebody compatible Like y'all Like you would Mention your Your fucking like, the old guy will probably mention the person he used to listen to in high school. And the girl's like, what? He's like, oh, what the fuck? You don't know who this is? Like, no, nigga. Yeah, no. Nah, You're 40 yeah. years older. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, and, I, and shit. That's it's normal, you know what I mean? Like when you're like in your forties or your girls in your thirty or thirty five, like I've seen it. I've you know? seen and it 10, works. 15 year gaps. It works. You know, my, yeah. my mom my mom is what, 12, 12, 13 years younger than my than my than my dad. Yeah. My you mom's nine I'm, years younger than yeah. my dad. I, but that's that's not too crazy. I'm yeah. talking about the 30, 40 year old gaps. Yeah. Like at that point, yeah. that's crazy. That's yeah, like that, to me, bro. I don't I wouldn't bro. I wouldn't be able I'm to about do to it. be twenty eight in the next six months. I'm not that old at all, bro. I'm 28. About to be 28. I don't want to hang around with a 21-year-old right now. Exactly. Exactly. So I couldn't imagine being a 50-year-old nigga. Yeah. Like, what the fuck am I... Could I like, bro... And that's the only... You know if you mean? catch like, me with some 21-year-olds, 22, is because I'm chilling with my little brother and I want to yeah, spend time with exactly. him. Exactly. You know, that's it's different. different. His friends it's are like different. 21, 22. You know what I mean? But as far as like, yeah, my group of friends are all 21 and we're going to go out together. No, it's just like, no, nah, no. I'm not bro. friends with no 21, 22 year old. Honestly, I've always been the younger guy in the group. Like, yeah, me I've too. always like when it came to hanging around people, I, like I was hanging around with people three, four years older than me at 13, 14. Yep. So it's like, bro, that's how I, that's how I am now. Most of my friends are already in their 30s. Honestly, most of my friends, bro, that I like, yo, go, I'm going to come kick it with you, bro. Yeah, or You're like 30s. 32, 34. Yeah, my boy Brandon, you know he's, he's 40 years old. Yeah, bro. Like, it's it's just like, bro, like. He got kids that are like almost our age. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you learn from a lot of older people, too. Like, I noticed That's that. That's the stage I'm at, bro. I'd, so rather I'd rather go to Corona. Around. I'd rather go to Corona, have a cigar in a grown person setting than to go to a club. Yeah. That's where I'm just, or that's just, just where just I'm rent, at. Rent, you know, run a nice Airbnb yeah. on the high rise and hang out with your boys and have a, you know, have some Facts. females, have some hookahs. It's still downtown, but you're not in the middle of a club fucking. We have our own club. Dodging COVID. You know, I had a couple friends be like, yo, you're going to hit the club after? I'm like, why? We have our own club right Facts. here. Facts. We have speakers. We have lights. We have it's a cozy. View. We could smoke right here. We, like We have a view. We have our own VIP section. If you think about it. Facts. We could close the door and be like, yo, nobody come back here. Exactly. So, like, I don't know. I'm just past that. I, I don't know. I just can't respect you if you party every fucking weekend, too, and you're going out there. If you're not getting paid and you're going in the club, I don't respect you. Nah, that's every a weekend. fact. Every that's weekend. a fact. Because these guys, bro, these, these artists, these artists and these girls, some bro, a lot of girls get paid to be at yeah. that club. Oh, yeah. They're bad, and they're getting paid exactly. good money to be at that club. They're not there for no fucking reason, no, my nigga. Don't get it fooled. <laughs> don't, get, don't, don't get it fucked up. Yeah. You see her every Saturday night, because every Saturday night she when she goes pay. home, she has three, four bands and tips. Yeah. You From feel just me? standing there, passing Looking out bottles. Pretty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It. So it's like, bro, like, listen, man, if you ain't getting a bag for it, bro, 
it's just like, dude, dang, man, everybody's different. People, some people want to party till they're fucking sixty. You know what I'm saying? Do your fucking thing. But yeah. it's like, I don't know, bro. Every, uh, it's just not for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm past that stage in my life, for real. Yeah, that's it's been it's, it's been fucking past for a long time. Yeah, now. bro. Like by now, bro. Honestly, I want to be home by like one a.m. at the latest. Yeah. Even like once it hits twelve thirty, it's like, bro, what else are we doing? What are we? What else are we doing? We've been here for fucking five, six hours. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, what else could we possibly do besides get more fucked up than we already are? Yeah, nah. And then that leads to problems. That's why all the problems always come at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Nothing when people good. are already fucking drunk and they know they haven't gone to sleep yet. You're hungry, you're cranky, you're drunk. Yeah. You want to fight. Nothing you know what I'm good. Saying? Like, Nothing good just happens like, at bro. night. Ask this nigga, bro. There's been plenty of times where I, I'm telling you that six cents. I'll be like, ah, right, boys. All right, see I'm you. Out. And then, like, 15 minutes Five later, minutes, somebody 10 gets, minutes later, somebody's so, passing out, fucking hitting their head on the floor. Somebody's fucking gone. <laughs> no, but that was not the last time you, you did it, but it was after. You were like, nah, I was like, like, like damn, I'm bro. here too long now. Nah, <laughs> yeah. Once I, I was like, bro, I'm going to smoke this blunt. And it was only like 10 o'clock. It was like 11 30. Nah, nah, it was like 12 sign already. Oh, I left. It was like I got home at like no, but after when she, one. But when she passed out, it was like fucking like eleven thirty. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's why I was like, I'm gonna roll one more. I'm gonna yeah. smoke one, and then like halfway through that blunt, I was just like, bro, I'm gonna put this on and go home. Yeah, <laughs> like that ass. Nah, man. It's funny though when you stop. Uh, when you stop doing that too, bro, you start to notice like a shift in like change of friends and shit yeah. like that. Like you it's, notice, like you know, like you notice your friends separate and start doing their own thing and. It's crazy how life is, bro. Some people just continue to party. Some people keep going through the same problems, but never want to learn and, and actually like get it right. People right. just keep going through it. It's like, ah, I'm going to keep doing it. It's like, bro, and that's how, do you expect, how do you expect anything to change if you don't change? That's the mistake, bro. The mistake isn't making your first mistake. Yeah. Like people make mistakes. It's going to happen. But if you don't learn from it and you don't fix it, bro, that's what, that's the real mistake. It's like, damn, nigga, like, you should at least learn something from this. Yeah. And carry it on forward and be like, you know what? Like, I'm going to do this differently from now on. Exactly. Whatever it is, however it may go. But listen, man, some crazy shit that you have brought up, bro, is how this person got executed for sneaking in Squid Game into North Korea. Yeah. And you saw what I wrote back. I was like, bro. That's just I was North like, Korea. bro, North Korea. It's North Korea. Bro. They got hit with like, the firing they, squad. They, they starved their people. Like, they want to make it seem like they got all this food and all this stuff. And, all like, bro, they're actors. Like, if you go there on vacation, there's certain parts they take you to and certain parts they won't allow you at. Because that's where the real poor people are at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, he's a dictator, bro. Of course he's going to execute somebody like that just for doing something like that. Like, if he feels like it's wrong, then it's wrong. Like, it doesn't matter about the law and all that other shit. Like, yeah, he got it's, hit. it's up to him. He got hit in the firing squad just like if it was Squid Games. Bro, he got hit. That's crazy to me. Yeah. Like, think about how crazy that is. Like, over yeah. here, bro, they just take you to court. And they be like, yo, you owe us some money for the show. Like, you used our shit. It was pirated, whatever. You don't deserve to die. Yeah. But getting executed? That's why I be telling people, bro, we, we're blessed to live in America. We want to act like we're so suppressed over here. People really want to act like we're so suppressed. But it's like, bro, there's places in this world that they will literally do that. They will execute you for walking on the wrong side of the street. I'm not playing with you. Like, there's places in China where if you walk on the wrong side of the road, bro, you're liable to get fucking executed. Yeah. We're, fu bro, we're living beautifully over here. Yeah, so. Uh, the only thing that's liable to happen, you might get robbed by fucking Ricky Bobby over there yeah, if you cross the street. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You cross the street, you might But you can punch Ricky ducks. Bobby in his fucking mouth and keep it fucking moving. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm on fire. <laughs> Praise the Lord, praise baby Jesus, baby Jesus. I got greens, beans, potatoes. We forgot Yo, about the that. way he prayed to baby Jesus every time was fucking hilarious. Facts. Yeah, like, fuck? Baby Jesus. He's like, I why don't you fire. pray? Why don't you pray to regular Jesus? I want to pray to baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good oh, movie. That was man, good. Tell it, fucking tell movie. Tell lights, guys. Check it out. Yeah, check it out, guys. Will but Farrell. I'll tell you what. I appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we drop. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, man, tell somebody you love them. Make it through the holidays. Let's get into this next year grinding and grinding, all right? Grinding and grinding. I said it twice. Fuck it. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.